Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode number 496, BioBalance Health's Anti-Aging Pyramid. BioBalance Health features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Moffin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Moffin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the newly released book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of T replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Moffin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Moffin's office is currently accepting new patients. So Dr. Moffin, for the last several weeks, you and I have been discussing the 10 different body systems that contribute to the aging process. Mm -hmm. Each of these systems, mechanically perfect or near perfect at some point, as we age, starts to slow down, get old, rust, break, what have you. And we've always said, well, that's just part of aging. That's what happens, and then you die. But medicine has now learned that there are things that can divert or slow down Mm -hmm. that aging process in each one of these systems. Mm -hmm. So as you have learned to be a hormone specialist and an uh, an anti-aging doctor, Mm -hmm. you've developed a practice called BioBalance Health. You've been at this for, what, 16 years now? 18. 18 years. And you have conceptually developed a a pyramid by which we can understand the order and angle of attack, how how you solve problems. When I come in as a new patient, you're looking at my paperwork and my blood work, and you're looking to see what you can from seeing me, Mm -hmm. observing me, and all the medical training that you had to watch people and, and see what their bodies look like and listen to them and see what they say, but then also look at the data, the science data Mm -hmm. that says, okay, you have this much or this little of this protein, you have this much or this little of this This hormone. hormone. And so then you start to make conclusions and interpretations. You make a a treatment plan Mm -hmm. and a suggestion for me. You say, I think Mm -hmm. if we do these things, we can repair the damage, Mm -hmm. reverse the damage, or prevent damage. Mm -hmm. So this week we're gonna talk Mm -hmm. about the pyramid. And, and the biggest block of the pyramid, the first block of the pyramid, is uh, testosterone and estradiol pellets. So can mm-hmm. you speak to that block as your foundation concept? Mm-hmm. So, so the foundation, the, the pyramid that we have here has the largest block, the largest um, piece of the pyramid is the foundation of our, of our practice. And that is the, the treatment that does the most for every system in the body that has the most effect and is the first is the first thing to go is testosterone and then estrogen in women but testosterone in men just testosterone in men so these two hormones when replaced to my new patients actually change everything and the way we replace them is key we replace them by using by, by putting them under the skin. So they are they're an on-demand system. You can get as much of the testosterone as you need, enough of, as much of the estrogen, and, and you also end up with less than if you were taking it orally or in a shot, or just overall your dose is lower per day. Because, because it's an on-demand reservoir in the body. The body mm-hmm. takes it as it needs it, as your metabolism needs it mm-hmm. because of your exercise or what have you. When I take it orally or from a shot, then I have to the it has to get through the blood brain barrier. It has to get into the system. It has to go system. through your liver and make estrogen. <laughs> yeah, it has to. I mean, and, it has and to. Often be, it's changed into men. other things. Yeah, and in men, that's really bad because gels under the arm, gel sprays, all kinds of ways they give testosterone. Pack. Most of it becomes estrogen. Yeah. So that counteracts the good part in men of what the testosterone is doing. So one of the things that I've learned in, in working with you and talking about this foundational block is that you make distinctions between total testosterone and free testosterone. Right. You measure the mm-hmm. testosterone in the blood. Mm-hmm. What is that distinction? Why are you looking at that number, those numbers? Those numbers. So for men, right? because men make testosterone their whole lives, and I want to know if a man's still making it, as well as does he have enough 
to work with. So the total testosterone that I do tells me he's making testosterone, and is it enough? Is he producing enough? Are her te- uh, is excuse me? Are his testicles working? Okay. So that's what the total testosterone tells me. All the testosterone that he makes, and it's a lot more than he can actually use. So then I look at the free testosterone, and we're still talking about men. Right. And then for men, I look at, at the, the amount of testosterone out of that huge amount of testosterone he makes. There's only a little percentage that he actually can use. And that percentage is key. To, it, it, it parallels how he feels. Because that part of the testosterone is active, and it goes and it attaches to all his cells. So he could make, he could make a ton of total testosterone. My normal is 400 to 1500. Other people's normals are different, but that's where people are healthy. Right. And he could make 1500, but if he doesn't hit 129 of the free testosterone, which are picograms per uh, milliliter, if he doesn't hit that number, then he doesn't feel it. It doesn't matter how much he makes. Okay. His his testosterone so is all, is all bound up. Yeah. And the more estrogen he has, the more is bound and the less is working. Okay. So when I'm looking at somebody to determine do they need pellets or some young men just need to get rid of that estrogen and then it releases their testosterone, that helps me decide what treatment they need. Then I I look at for women, I look at just free testosterone. Because it doesn't matter how much our ovary makes, because we usually make very little after we're 45. We just need to know how much is actually working, and that parallels our symptoms. Okay. So if we move beyond testosterone and estrogen, mm-hmm. estradiol balance, mm-hmm. which are the two critical things, mm-hmm. then you look at other hormones like progesterone and thyroid and uh, cortisol. Cortisol. Mm-hmm. So say something briefly about those. So, so the... Um, once we've got you replaced normally with the testosterone and, and uh, estradiol, we repeat the blood work. Mm-hmm. We also know where you start. We also look at these hormones in the beginning. Uh, if you obviously have a thyroid problem in the beginning, then testosterone and estrogen aren't going to fix that. So I actually will uh, replace it or stimulate more production from your own thyroid with I- iodorol, iodine. That's how I deal with, with the thyroid. If if we give you the testosterone and estradiol, you're borderline, we retest it, and then, then I'll treat it if it wasn't obvious in the beginning. Cortisol, we worry about too low a cortisol. That means adrenal fatigue, or we worry about uh, too much cortisol. I hardly ever see too little cortisol. Those are usually in people who have been stressed or taken a lot of steroids throughout their life, and their adrenal has been suppressed, and it doesn't make cortisol very well, and they need to have cortisol given back to them. Okay. Now, people who have too much cortisol, we use a tiny bit of animal adrenal to suppress their production because too much cortisol binds up your testosterone. Mm-hmm. So that's your stress hormone. If you have too much stress before you've burnt out your adrenal, you've just got too much cortisol. Cortisol breaks down muscle. It does the opposite of testosterone, and it binds it up. So in a lot of ways, you're like a little chemist in a lab just mixing all these ingredients to get the right balance or score. And I, and I have to say that this is kind of... It's kind of a, a gift or, a, or a, 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 it's a talent that you can develop, and some people just don't get it. Yeah. I mean, some doctors just can't do it. But I, I have that as kind of one of my gifts that I can kind of see how they all work together. Right. And so the, these are all hormones that change all the time. I try to get you into a, into a after menopause, I try to get you in, or after low testosterone into an even everyday level of all of these hormones. So it's both a science and a skill. It's yeah. not just a science. It's, it's not, not just, just a lab. Science. Not every lab tech can do it. Because at, part of the problem is usually that the pellets, pellets, you have to figure out how long they're going to last and how much they're going to get every day. Other pills, you just take one pill a day and it goes up and comes down, it goes up and comes down. I need to keep people like this. Steady that's low. how they feel better and that's how they're healthier. Okay. What about the prevention of aging diseases? That's the next block. What are you looking at? So there? I'm, so many... In our book, in our books, we talk about the different diseases of aging and heart disease, and um, which is high cholesterol, high homocysteine, um, atherosclerosis, um, osteoporosis. Osteo- yeah, and then we yeah. talk about osteoporosis. We also talk about um, dementia, inability to think. Uh, we t- every everything that we've just talked about in diabetes. our diabetes. And diabetes is our big one. 
Right. So diabetes is what I see the most. So I check for ev- all of these things from prevention of aging diseases down are all tested mm-hmm. at the first visit, and then we repeat the test too. But we try to treat them like if you have prediabetes, then I put you on a diet and an exercise program and metformin. Well, that's the and next block. That's diet and exercise. Right. And, yeah. that's, but that's part of the next block, but the, I put you on a medicine. Right. And we discuss it, and we try to make some progress because – you're not going to be completely healthy if I don't do that. Mm-hmm. And many, most physicians that do hormones don't do this part because it's somebody else's job. But I find it to be my job because I need to make you feel better and, and I need to make you healthier. And if I ignore that part, you won't be healthy. Right. So I make people then, if I don't succeed in completely making them better, they go to a specialist. So your approach is bilateral. You're doing symptom alleviation. Right. But you're also doing whole function, whole systemic analysis right. to try to avoid diseases mm-hmm. rather than treat them. Right. I, I would much rather somebody never have heart disease and never have real diabetes right. than have it and then have to work our way backwards because right. that's much harder and it doesn't always work. Yes. Okay. So one of the ways that you do that when you get them stable and you give them the diet and exercise program and, and, and you looked at these different diseases of aging and you taught them to exercise – and eat properly, then you talk about supplements. Because right. you get to the place where you have a little breathing room, mm-hmm. your body's starting to be better, mm-hmm. and you say, well, there are things that will help in addition to what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And they are dietary supplements? They're, or- they're mostly dietary supplements, or they're things that are not uh, uh, prescriptions not needed for and is over-the-counter. Like DIM? Like DIM, diendol methane, is, a, is made from cauliflower and broccoli, but it decreases your belly fat by decreasing estrone. You know, so we use that, and that's not a drug, and it you can you can just buy it over the counter. We use um, the the most like a drug. Our supplements are Neo Forty, is the most like a drug, and uh-huh. it is actually uh, it actually increases your nitric oxide, so it dilates your blood vessels. So we give it to people who have high blood pressure or risk of heart disease or ED. We have them just chew that every day and. Over time, they get they start getting better. The, and the that, Neo Forty. Neo Forty. So that helps you with it helps you with ED. I mean, you may be on an ED drug; you can still take this, but it makes you not have to take it as much. Or it, it also prevent it prevents heart disease by lowering your blood pressure and the plaque in your arteries. And and it, it also cleans, out. cleans out the plaque. Yes. So which is so nice, and there's not many things that can do that. Right. Yeah, you so, don't do it surgically. You right. You take so, this, and it attacks those things specifically. And not everybody has to take that. Right. I mean, you everybody could take it, but not everybody has plaque, and not everybody has a risk of heart disease if they have the right genetics. There are some people with low cholesterol, low so, inflammation, and they look great, and they don't have anything on the inside of their so vessels. Well, I thought one of the natural processes <clears throat> of aging is hardening of the arteries. And Neo40 helps prevent that by... Yeah. Knocking out the buildup of plaque inside the, the arteries. Right, and not and nitric oxide helps you dilate the blood vessels, and that's what happens. They get kind of stiff, so nitric oxide is pl- given back to the vessels, and they and they can dilate. So that's what this entire pyramid is about. Once we replace your foundational hormones, mm-hmm. then we attack specific elements that are peculiar to you. What right. we find with your mm-hmm. test data and your symptom presentation, mm-hmm. your lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And we work about on, on diet, we work on exercise programs, recommendations mm-hmm. that are made, mm-hmm. then supplements to help supplement mm-hmm. the specific area of concern. Sometimes I get people who have really unusual diseases. I mean, I actually have to have to call colleagues and and, and get updated on the, on the treatment, although the patients usually know it. Autoimmune diseases, Usually people come with those, and we give them testosterone, and oftentimes, not always, they can lower their dose of the other drugs, and they get better, or they don't have to take the drugs at all. I remember in in the last year, you had a reasonably young, healthy male who had an adrenal tumor that the other doctors were not finding. Right. And you found it, Mm -hmm. and you sent the information to his primary physician who said, oh, my God, how did I miss this? Mm -hmm. And they had to go in and operate on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he would have died. Yeah. I mean, within, within, you know, six months, he would have been dead. So luckily, because I was doing the proper blood work, and by the grace of God, I thought of the right test to do because there's millions of tests. When people say, oh, I did your blood work, that doesn't mean... 
They did every blood work you can have. Just means they did the ones they think you need. So, so, so once we get physically and with supplements in the best balance that we mm -hmm. can be, what you've found, and you actually created a second business for mm -hmm. this called Biobound Skin, mm -hmm. but you've found full body aesthetic care mm -hmm. to be the next building block for healthy aging, uh, mm -hmm. quality of life aging. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I understand what that means as a, as a male. I mean, if I, I come in and say, do these jeans make my butt look big? <laughs> Is there something you can do about that? <laughs> you've asked me that before. I have, um, actually. <laughs> um, there's... Once we feel good, and, and granted, testosterone and the other, and being healthy makes us look better. Yeah. But there's always still something like, you know, you got the, you know, you, the, the arms that are hanging or, you know, something that bugs you that indicates that you're old. Oh, or that bugs me if I'm looking at you. Like, I, I, yes. I do this at home. My wife and I yes, watch television. Yes, now? And, well, <laughs> somebody that's quasi famous for whatever reason, and they have a big mole on their lip. And I'm like, why did they get that taken off? You know, and it's, just, it's, this, it's all I can look at. And right, right. Like mole, 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 mole. Yeah. yeah. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many lines there. And <laughs> but, but that's, we, we look at people and ask them what bothers them. Mm -hmm. We do a consult at Biobalanced Skin and we find out what bothers them. And then we find, then we give them some other things that might make them look older, like, brown spots on their hands or on their face or wrinkles or my favorite and in um british kind of patients i always see that they lose their cheeks and so they've kind of got a line that kind of goes like this their eyes get really dog mm -hmm. you know kind of do hang doggy you know and sometimes you have to ask the person that's looking at you and not y yourself yeah because they people are coming. I need my bags taken out, and I need no. You just need your cheeks back, because your cheeks will just like lift everything back up. Right. And that's filler. You just get filler, filler, and that's the biggest bang for your buck you can get, because it takes care of these other things that are bugging you. We use Botox a lot so that we don't have wrinkles and maintain wrinkles over time. So people become more conscious of how good they feel. And now they want to look as good as they feel. So, so that's kind of our catch line. So what about people with tattoos? Can you take those off? Yeah, we take them off. We have a laser that takes them off. Okay. And we use... And a lot of people put them on... Like, I remember Lee Trevino, the professional golfer, had his first wife's name tattooed on his arm. Yeah, well... Then they got a divorce and he started wearing a Band-Aid every day. Uh, <laughs> because back then the technology... I didn't know was that. ...taking it off. I didn't know that about him. Yeah. So, so we have a we have a laser that takes off tattoos. Tattoo taking tattoos off is always harder than putting them on, yeah. and you have to you have to have a different um, length of light for each color. So um, it, it's a several step process, and it's not pain free. Uh, and my wife, who works we, at your office, yeah. was telling me about this big marine guy coming in and getting a tattoo taken off. They can hear him all over the office. I know, moaning and groaning I, because it burns. I mean, we put. Lidocaine on him. I mean, he yeah. should have been somewhat. I mean, without lidocaine, that would have Perhaps been worse. He was. <laughs> yeah. But you know, and and also, women tend to just shut up when they're in pain. Men don't. Ah, it's a sexist remark. I'm sorry, but we don't get as much screaming from the women. <laughs> Probably not. Oh no. So so, but we do ever. I mean, we do everything, and and we help. Like I had somebody come in and say, you know, I want, I want to, I want to look younger, and I feel better now. I want to look younger, and there, for her, she just needed the cheeks and some chin chin filler, but she wanted laser, and I'm like, laser's not going to do it. Yeah, you, it, laser's just yeah. going to make your skin tone look better and the brown spots gone, but nah, you won't look dramatically different. So you have all the options available, and you have specialists that work with them to say these are the things that we can do. Right. And and maybe you don't see this as a pyramid, but we need to clean this up first and mm -hmm. then that first, and mm -hmm. we'll get there. Mm -hmm. But we can do it. Right. And and we give them a treatment plan as well, because if I went someplace and didn't understand exactly what every machine does right. and everything, I'd want somebody to help me with a treatment yeah. plan. What's my plan for the next year? Okay. Then finally, on the pyramid, we have peptides, mm -hmm. So which is kind of a new thing. I mean, peptides have been around We're forever, always but, adding new things yeah. to our pyramid. Yeah. So ever, things that we offer because... And, and this is how it comes about. We we get to a place with people or a person or a group of people and we go, we can't fix that. How come we can't fix that? How come it's not completely gone? Because I'm not happy unless it's completely gone. 
I don't like people, you know, I used to use bioidentical hormones, creams, gels. They felt a little better. That wasn't very satisfying for me, and they weren't happy. Right. But I want them to be completely better. So when we get to a point where we need something more than what we've just discussed, then I offer patients peptides. We have little little pieces of protein that can be injected, or we've even got nasal sprays. And I mean, we have a pharmacy we work with, and then we write the script, they send it to you. But basically, these things take you to the next level if you have gotten older and your growth hormone doesn't go well, up. Well, for example, and, and if you're interested, we did a podcast on this one. It's called Thymosin Alpha 1, and you mm -hmm. can find that. That's one of our peptides. If you're interested. But it fights cancer tumors, mm -hmm. and it helps rebuild the immune system. Right. So, so it protects you from, like I'm taking it right now, mm -hmm. for the coronavirus. Yeah. I mean, it helps you suppress, um, or excuse me, it helps you activate your immune system so you can kill the viruses and bacteria that attack you. Yeah. And so it makes you less likely to get the virus, and it makes you less likely to transmit it. It makes you less likely to, to die of it. Yeah. So as you get older, your immune system starts dropping, even with testosterone, which does help, but sometimes you need a little boost in times of pandemic. So, so this is the sequence of the pyramid, and the pyramid continues to change as we learn and develop new things. But this is the theoretical underpinning of biobalanced health and biobalanced skin. I would refer you to our two books, The Secret Female Hormone and Got Testosterone, which will explain this pyramid in detail. Uh, and hopefully you always enjoy our podcast. Thank you for watching. Please listen next week. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.